Hello everyone, Valerie here. I just wanted to take a time out to have what I call a Selah moment with you. Selah means to pause and think about it. So hopefully this is a little nugget for you to ponder on. First of all, I wanna introduce you to someone, someone who is so wonderful, who is great, someone who uh, God just formed and fashioned and really had a great plan and purpose for. And that person is you. You know, you have so much on the inside of you and there's things that you've longed to do and and along the way, somehow your confidence was shaken. Along the way, uh, life happened and you just felt like, man, there's something I've always wanted to do and I just couldn't do it. Let me tell you something. You have to succeed at being you, being confident in you, being confident in who the man or woman that God created to be. You know, the, the Bible says that what the Lord created Jeremiah, he says, I knew you before I even created you and all your days were ordained. So, you know, the Lord knows you better than you even know yourself. He knows you better than anyone else knows you. But one thing I know for sure is that the Lord took time to create you. He took time to fashion you in your mother's room, that the Lord had gifts and talents that he put right inside of you. And there's only one of you that exists in this entire world. And he saw fit to create you. And you are an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. And there are great things that the Lord has in store for you, but you got to believe it. You can't have this Pope, woe is me, and this mentality of, I'll never succeed. I'll have nothing more than this. There is so much that lies within you. And I'm not just talking monetarily. Some of you, you know, you're financially okay, but God is stirring up some things in you, maybe to help others or to, to start something, but you still are so fearful. Maybe you're afraid of what other people will think, or maybe you shared your dream with someone and they've kind of knocked it down. So I don't see you doing that. You gotta be confident in the one who has spoken to you. And and that's the Lord. You know, Moses didn't feel like he was he was equipped to do what God has called him to do. Moses was like, Lord, I'm not of eloquent of speech. I stutter. And the Lord says, are you forgetting? I'm the one who created that mouth that you'll speak out of. And as you, all you have to do is open your mouth and I will speak through it. So I'm telling you, all you have to do is put forth some effort and trust God and he will speak through you and make it happen. There are so many things that uh, you've kind of put on the wayside, but this is it. This is your life. There's no second curtain, third curtain. This is it. And God created you for such a time as this because he knew that you could make a difference in the lives of others. If it's in the lives of the people in your neighborhood, lives of your coworkers, lives on a big national scale, whatever it is, you have significance because the Lord created you and took time to form and fashion you because he knew there is nobody else here like you. So I would ask you today to not face off the opinions of other people about you, but you got to be confident in knowing who you are. If you know that you're a good person and you're a great person and you love people, don't let anyone else's opinion about you shatter that you're not that person. You know who you are and whose you are. And all I'm asking is that you be confident in that and you walk boldly in that and you let your life shine and you be an example wherever you go and don't write the wave of oh they like me oh they don't like me because the person who likes you today may not like you tomorrow but the one who loves you unconditionally and will forever be there for you is the Lord himself so today I say go for it and whatever the Lord is telling you to do and if you don't have the money to do whatever it is don't worry about it. Write that vision down on paper because we know at the appointed time, it will surely come. I pray this little nugget has been a blessing to you today. Be blessed. Know that Jesus loves you and so do I.